Hi, my name's Kate James. I'm a cataloger and a former member of the RDA Steering Committee. This video in the RDA concept series is about the Nomen entity. As you know, RDA is based upon conceptual models. New RDA is based upon IFLA LRM, the library reference model. Nomen is an entity that was in LRM, so it's in RDA. LRM took it from an FR bibliographic model um, called Frasad, and Frasad is the first model that used the term nomen, but there was a previous model called FRAD that was published in 2009, and FRAD used the concept of a name entity, which is very similar to the nomen entity that we have today. I mention this because I wanted you to know that this idea of separating the uh, label that an entity is called by and the entity itself is not a new idea in bibliographic conceptual model modeling. It's been around for quite a number of years. So it's new to us using RDA, but it's not new to the world. And there's been a lot of time to develop the thinking about this. As you can see, I am in the English language version of new RDA. This is the only language version available right now, but the reason I'm telling you this is just to point out in this list of RDA entities, all of these are English terms except for this one oddball nomen. So this is a Latin word. Don't think of it as being the same as the Latin word nomen because it's not conceptually the same. It's better if you just think of it as kind of a made up word used to describe this entity in RDA and take a look and we'll see what the definition says. So a nomen, that's any type of designation that refers to any RDA entity except nomen. So some of the examples of this are name, title, access point, and identifier. Speaking in everyday English, I can say, my name is Kate James, and I've just created a relationship between a person, me, and a nomen, Kate James. So I am a person. Uh, you can't see me right now, but take my word for it. I'm a person. And Kate James is a nomen. That is what I use to identify myself, and that is how other people identify me. So, you know, when we're speaking to each other and would say, hey, that's Kate James, they wouldn't say, that is a person entity that has preferred name of person, Kate James, because, you know, that's just really convoluted speaking. However, this is a useful distinction to make in cataloging, because as you know, a person may have many names associated with them. They might have a preferred name like Kate James, a variant name like K period James could be a variant name that appears on publications. So it's useful to be able to say modeling wise that this one person has a relationship to this nomen Kate James and this other nomen K period James. Another reason that it's useful is because authors often use very different names. A famous example of this is the author known as Lewis Carroll when writing children's books like Alice in Wonderland and known as Charles Letwidge Dodgson when writing books about mathematics. We know that this is the same person. There's a Wikipedia entry that makes this very clear for anyone who is not familiar with this author in case you want to look it up. In our current cataloging environment, we have often pretended as if this is two different people. Um, one person named Lewis Carroll, another person named Charles Letwidge Dodson, when that's obviously not true. It's one person who has just used multiple names. So now with the introduction of the nomen entity in RDA, we can clearly say we have one instance of a person entity that has a relationship to the nomen Lewis Carroll. And then the same person entity has a relationship to the nomen Charles Letwidge Dodgson. Excuse me. Um, it's a difficult name to say when you're 
tired of talking about nomens. That's all I have to say about nomen. This is obviously a very brief overview. Uh, there's a lot more information about nomen uh, that's available in the toolkit itself. There's a YouTube presentation in the toolkit channel about nomens. If you would like to know a whole lot more about nomen, you can go to the um, IFLA website and download the PDF LRM. LRM talks about the nomen entity and also has a section specifically on nomens in a library concepts that, sorry, nomens in a library context that is a much longer explanation, much more full than the concept that I was briefly explaining about um, referring to entities by name and associating different names with the same entity. Thank you very much for watching and hope you have a good evening. Bye.